here's our last one, and it's from uh, Carrie. Uh, the lease on my car is about to run out. I was wondering if purchasing my next car is a better option. I would imagine that's based on how many miles you drive. Uh, well, we call them a car fleece. A car fleece. Because you're getting fleeced. Ah, uh, the yeah, leases the car, are the built to, to be yeah, money make makers and not... For them, not you. Right. Yeah, it's the most expensive way to drive a vehicle. Car is the largest thing we all buy that goes down in value. And, and so you got to be real careful with cars. I like cars. I'm a boy. I want you to have a nice car. I just don't want your nice car to have you. And the average car payment in America today is five hundred dollars a month. Isn't that crazy? Uh, that blows my mind. Yeah. And so what we suggest you do instead, what millionaires do, people that how they become a millionaire is they don't have a car payment. Yeah. How do you not have a car payment? You drive a cheaper car. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. You afford, you know. So. You buy a car you can afford. What a novel idea. So we're going to get rid of the car payment, and let's start by just doing it grandma's way. Let's get a cheap, a hoopty. And I'm from Tennessee. We call it a garage sale car. Okay, a beater, right? And a you get beater. get you a five thousand dollar car. Yeah. Okay, and when you get a five thousand dollar car, then you don't have a car payment anymore. So you got that five hundred bucks a month freed up. Let's put five hundred dollars a month just in a cookie jar right. for ten months. Ten times five hundred, five thousand, right? Now, good news about a five thousand dollar car is during that ten months, it's not going down much in value. It's pretty well <laughs> That's done. Right. Okay? Right. So you can still sell it for you five grand. You can still sell it to the next guy who needs to start. There you go. Oh. Yeah, you pay it forward thing going. I feel okay. so smart when people like this come on. <laughs> I mean, it's fleeting. It'll end in like 15 minutes. We'll go back to being old and old. <laughs> what do I do again? Yeah, I know. That? I yeah. know. Let's get those bricks out again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 500 bucks a month in the cookie jar. You sell the $5,000 car. You put the $5,000 cash with it. And now you now get a $10,000 $10, car. car. So on hey. and so on. Which, by the way, is a whole lot better than a yeah. $5,000 car. Yeah. This is moving way, way up okay. the ladder. Because you, you don't want to drive drunk your whole life. You want to drive like no one else, so later you can drive like no one Actually, else. Actually, you know who does always drive, only drives used cars? Warren Buffett. Yeah. Look how rich he is. Yeah. Right. It worked for him. It probably Of course, costs. he also has private jet, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's that. There's that. <laughs> yeah. So then you could take the $10,000 car and do it again. And you and, just and keep doing it. And have 15 or right. have a 20. And then you have 15 but and then you do 20. But you're paying cash. And then you got the $500 for your college fund. You get the $500 for your 15% going into retirement. Right. And, and you're freed up, and you're not putting money in things that are going down in value so drastically. And then scratching our head. I mean, you're amazing. Do you have one final tip? Because I don't want to say goodbye to you. You're so smart. Oh, <laughs> sure. Thank you. I'll come back and keep talking <laughs> like that. So does... <laughs> give us a bonus. The, the way we all make mistakes is we do something off to the side instead of looking at the whole. Yeah. And when you look at the whole, it's called a budget. And a budget's not like I live on less than I make. A budget is you give every dollar a name every month before the month begins. And the world's best online budgeting app is called everydollar.com. It's free for your iPhone or your Android. Every dollar. Because you give every dollar a name every month. You'll feel like you got a raise when you do that. And you'll be able to accomplish these baby steps and do these And that's goals. the one that really concerns me this time of year. Because it's, it's that time of year, like I said, everybody oh, yeah. goes cuckoo in November oh. and December. And the budget goes right out the window. Oh, they're all spending like they're in Congress or something. <laughs> <laughs> You're wonderful. I'd put you in Congress any day. <laughs>